Earlier this week, I received a request from Liz in Bristol, England, and Liz wrote to request a video about yoga for high blood pressure. So that's what we're going to be working on today. My name is Zelinda, and I specialize in teaching yoga so that people with all kinds of bodies can participate and benefit. Let's go ahead and get started. Yoga can be very beneficial for people who have high blood pressure, but you need to make sure that you're doing the right kind of yoga practice. So let's talk about what kind of practice is safe and beneficial, and let's talk about also things to avoid so that you're sure not to cause yourself any kind of harmful effects. Okay, so what kind of yoga practice is safe and beneficial? Let's first talk about movements of the spine. So if you have high blood pressure and no other health issues going on, it will be perfectly fine for you to do all kinds of movements. For example, you can do side bending and you can do forward folding and you can do back bending and you can also do twisting. These are the main movements of the spine. All of these will be perfectly fine. You want to do them in a gentle way, especially if you're a beginner. As you progress, of course, you can add intensity. And then one element that you really want to pay attention to in your yoga practice is the quality of your breathing. Let me tell you why, and then I'll tell you how. So the reason you want to pay attention to the quality of your breathing is that it becomes a mindfulness practice. And when we're practicing yoga in a mindful way, we get all kinds of subtle benefits. Um, the nervous system is calmed down, blood pressure can be affected, um, blood sugar can be affected, inflammation in the body can be reduced. There's many uh, benefits that can come from calming the nervous system. And paying attention to your breathing is one way to start achieving that. Now, let me tell you about how exactly to pay attention to your breathing so that you can start to experience these type of benefits. The first thing is that in the yoga practice, we try to breathe in and out through the nose. So smoothly in through the nose and smoothly exhaling through the nose. If on any given day you're congested or you have any kind of obstruction and you can't breathe through your nose, it's also okay to breathe through your mouth. But primarily we want to try to prioritize breathing through the nose. The next thing is that we want the breathing to be comfortable. So, you know, in my videos, you'll probably hear me talk about you want your breath to be long and smooth and comfortable. The most important of those three is that the breath should be comfortable. So yes, work on lengthening the breath, both the inhale and the exhale, work on smoothing it out. But above all, make sure that your breathing is comfortable. And then the last point about paying attention to your breathing is to try to be conscious of your breathing from the start of the practice to the end of the practice. So in other words, throughout the whole duration of the practice, you're paying attention to the quality of your breathing. It's going to be really hard to do that, especially at first. So just know that you're going to start out with the intention of paying attention to your breathing. And then most likely your mind is going to wander off and you're going to get distracted by a movement or by something happening outside the window or by the grocery trip that you need to take later this afternoon or something. Something will creep into your mind. That is okay. As soon as you realize that your mind has wandered off, say, tell your mind, okay, mind, we're supposed to be paying attention to the breathing and then bring your attention back to your breathing. Again, the elements of long and smooth and comfortable and just keep working like that throughout your yoga practice, redirecting your attention to your breathing anytime that you become distracted. Now let's talk about what to avoid in yoga so that you make sure that you're keeping yourself safe. We definitely want to make sure that we are not doing any kind of yoga practice that is going to elevate your heart rate more. So these are some things that we want to be careful about. You want to make sure that you're not doing any kind of yoga practice that is overly strenuous. Please make sure to keep it gentle so that your breathing can remain comfortable and smooth and not labored throughout your entire practice. You want to make sure, maybe this one is obvious, that you're not going to do any kind of yoga posture where you are upside down. So you definitely don't want to be working on headstand or shoulder stand or plow or anything like that. You also, um, two more things, you want to avoid 
too many postures where you're raising your arms overhead, especially if you're raising your arms overhead, folding, and then trying to come up again with raised arms, this could potentially raise your blood pressure. And then the last thing is, and this is again related to breathing, you wanna make sure not to do any kind of forceful breathing practices. Um, keep all of your breaths long and smooth and comfortable like we've talked about and avoid any kind of forceful breathing. Now that you know what to do and what to avoid in the yoga practice to keep yourself safe, there's just one more point that I need to share with you before we get to the actual yoga practice. Okay, when you have high blood pressure and you begin a yoga practice, you definitely need to let your doctor know that you have begun practicing yoga. Your doctor may advise you to monitor your blood pressure every day to make sure that it's staying within a safe range. When you start to practice yoga consistently, theoretically, hopefully, your blood pressure is going to start to come down. And so your doctor needs to be aware of any changes to your blood pressure so that they can make any adjustments needed to your care plan. All right, let's go ahead and get started with the yoga practice now. I'm going to assume that you are brand new to yoga. And so today we're going to work on a chair based practice that will be safe and beneficial for almost everybody. So start in a comfortable sitting position and sit toward the front edge of your chair. You're going to set your feet up about hip width apart with your ankles aligned directly below your knees. So probably you'll walk your feet forward a little bit more than you would if you were just casually sitting. Okay, so now that you have your good foundation of sitting, lengthen your spine and relax your shoulders. Okay, we're going to start with just a little bit of breathing like a warm up. So you can close your eyes if you want to and begin to pay attention to the quality of your breathing. Work on smoothing and lengthening your inhales and smoothing and lengthening your exhales. You're trying to breathe in and out through your nose if it's comfortable. Smooth inhales, smooth exhales. Next time you complete your exhale, go ahead and open your eyes and we're gonna begin some movement. And you can stay right where you are. I'm gonna to turn to the side a little bit so that you can see better the movements that I'm making. So from your same comfortable sitting position, your hands are on your knees. We're gonna begin some movement with the spine. So on an inhale, lift your chest up so that you move into a gentle back bend. And then exhale and round your back. So your back is reaching toward the back of the chair. Your shoulders are dropping down. Inhale again. Lift your chest up. Arch your back. Exhale. Round your back. Chin tucks down toward your chest. We're going to keep going. Inhale. Gentle back bend. Exhale. Round your spine. Inhale. Gentle back bend. Exhale, round your spine. On an inhale, come back up to a neutral position. Next, let's work on some twisting. So on an inhale, lengthen your spine. And on an exhale, twist toward your left. And as you twist, you're gonna keep your right hand on your right knee. Your left hand can come around and take a hold of the chair. If it's comfortable for you, you can even turn your head so that you're looking toward your left shoulder. And then once you find your posture, we're going to stay here and breathe for three long, smooth breaths. And remember to breathe in and out through your nose if that's working for you today. After you complete the third exhale, then you'll inhale and come back to your neutral position. And we're going to go to the other side. So inhale, lengthen your spine. 
Exhale, now twist around toward the right. So your left hand stays on your left knee, your right hand's taking a hold of the chair. If it's comfortable, you're turning your head toward your shoulder. And we'll stay here for three smooth breaths. As you're breathing, I'm gonna give you a little more information. Try to keep your spine lengthened as much as possible. Make sure everything in your body feels comfortable. One more breath here. As you complete it, on an inhale, you can move back around to your neutral spine position. So let me give you another piece of information here. In the yoga practice, everything should feel comfortable. We have a concept called ahimsa. Ahimsa means non-harm. And in yoga, what that means is that no movement or no breathing practice that we do in the yoga practice should ever be painful or uncomfortable for your body. So if you come across something that is painful or uncomfortable, you can definitely adjust it, change it, modify it so that it works better for you. And if you need help figuring out how to do that, you can always leave me a comment and I would be happy to help you. Okay, let's continue moving. Let's work on some forward folding again. So take your feet out just a little bit wider. On an inhale, bring your arms forward to chest height. Exhale, bring your hands to your knees and slide them down toward your ankles so you're folding at the waist. Then inhale, slide your hands up your knees. Exhale, relax your shoulders down. Here we go again. Inhale, arms come up to chest height, palms are facing down. Exhale, hands down to the knees and then slide down your legs and fold. Inhale, slide back up. Exhale, shoulders relax. We're gonna do two more. Inhale, arms come up to shoulder height. Exhale, hands to the knees, slide down, fold. Inhale, slide back up to your knees. Exhale, Shoulders relax. Here's the last one. Inhale, arms up to chest height. Exhale, hands slide down, fold. Inhale, slide back up. Exhale, shoulders relax. Okay, very good. Give your body a little bit of break. You can wiggle around a bit if you need to. Then bring your feet just a little bit narrower again so that they're about hip width apart lengthen your spine and we're going to wrap up our practice with some head movement that will help any tension you might be feeling in your neck and shoulders okay on an inhale lift your chin lift your face so that you look upward toward the ceiling just a little bit in a comfortable way then exhale slowly lower your chin down toward your chest inhale slowly lift your face so that you're looking upward toward the ceiling Exhale, smoothly, slowly, lower your chin down toward your chest. We're gonna do two more. Inhale, smoothly, lift your face up. Exhale, smoothly, lower down. Last one. Inhale, smoothly, lift up. Exhale, smoothly, lower down. Now, on an inhale, just bring your face back up to neutral. And now you've completed your first yoga practice. Congratulations. So now we need to figure out a plan to keep you practicing yoga on a consistent basis. What I would suggest is that you continue working on this very short little practice for about a week. And it's so short that I think you can probably find time to do it twice per day. I would recommend you do it once in the morning and once in the evening for a week. After that week is done, see how you're feeling. If you feel that you're ready for the next step, you should check out my seven day beginner yoga series, which is right here on YouTube. I'm going to put a link to the playlist in the description box of this video so it's easy for you to find. So go ahead and do it. This practice for this week, beginner series practice for next week. And then at the end of the beginner series video, I will give you some guidance about what to do after that. If you have any questions about this video or this yoga practice that you've done today, please reach out. 
um, you can leave me a note in the comments or if you want to discuss something that's a little bit more extensive you might want to send me an email and I will put my email address in the description box below as well. All right, well, congratulations again on starting your yoga practice, and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you for practicing with me today. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like button, give it a thumbs up, and you can also subscribe and click the notification bell so you won't miss my future videos. Thanks for being here. I'll see you next time.